let's build this awesome 2-in-1 zero-tick farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21. This farm will gain you unlimited bone meal and fuel and so much more. These are the materials you will need for this build. All right, guys, let's build this two-in-one farm. But before we do, we got to settle some drama. Last time I released a two-in-one farm, people were commenting saying I didn't even show how it works. They said I didn't even show it working. They said it was fake. So here is your proof before we begin. Left side, working. Right side, working. The farm works. So watch the tutorial. Obviously, people are skipping through the video. Then there's a reason the farm doesn't work. So if you want to be that person who skips through the entire video, then comments it doesn't work. Be my guest. But while everyone else has a working farm, don't complain. All right, so what we want to do is map ourselves the chunk. So right here, as you can see, both of these farms are sitting inside a 16 by 16 chunk. If you don't know how to map out a chunk, I'm not going to show you in this tutorial because I have countless videos on how to do it. Link in the top right corner of your screen or go in the description below. I have a full four minute chunk tutorial. Watch that video entirely and you'll never have to ask a chunk question again, okay? Once you mapped out your chunk, just like this, what you want to do is go in the middle. The middle is going to be two blocks. It's going to be right here. As you can see, it's equal on both sides. You want to go to the left by two blocks. So one, two, just like that. Technically for a total of three, place a block there. Do the same thing on this side. Then break those two blocks in the middle. Go ahead and connect this, then break the block. Connect this, then break the block. To the right of this, go ahead and do that like a Mickey Mouse shape. To the left of it, do the same thing. Has two ears and a mouth. Same thing on this side, and then it should look like that. In front of it right here, go ahead and place a block there, and then connect this to the right by four. So one, two, three, and four. Do the same thing on this side. Going forward, everything we do on this side, we're going to do over there. Coming over here diagonal from this block, go ahead and trail your blocks over here, just like that. Then diagonal this block, trail it like so until it matches that side. This should be 10 blocks long, 4 blocks long over here. Alright, and like I said, copy it to each side. Come over here and place two double chests just like this. Diagonal of that block. Do the same thing over here. Grab your hoppers and trail your hoppers into this chest. So that hopper going that way. And then take another hopper going into that hopper. This one's going this way. And then this one's going to the right of the chest. Do this like this. Trail it all the way backwards. All the way to the end. Just like this. All the way over there. So now it looks just like this. On top of those hoppers, grab your composters. And place it on top of the hoppers just like this. And then you should have a row of 10 composters on both sides. And then you're done with your composters. If you instead want fuel instead of bone meal, replace these with smokers. All right, so head Heading over here now, bring this up by another layer, just like this. Do the same thing over here. Right here where we placed our 10 blocks, place another 10 blocks in front of it, and then place sticky pistons on top of it. All right, so now everything looks like this. On top of those pistons, place another row of 10 blocks, and then do it one more time, just like this. So we got the sticky pistons, 20 blocks placed like this on both sides, and then do the same thing on the edges, just like this, to connect it. All right, so this is how everything looks so far. On the back side, let's go ahead and get our redstone. Trail your redstone, just like this. Go ahead and place a block here. Grab your redstone torch, place one here, place one here. You'll see it flicker for a second, and then it'll stop. Then on this block, place a block above the redstone torch torch place a redstone torch here and then jump and place a block above that one go ahead and place a block to the left of it and then a row of 10 blocks below it diagonal one just like this place your redstone on top of here just like that place a redstone torch over here and then a redstone dust here and then leave this one empty i see countless people every time they place redstone here and when you do that it flickers just like this and it's gonna break everything on the other side it's gonna be the same thing so this is going up diagonal three all right now all you got to do on top of these composters take another row 10 hoppers obviously on both sides going into the composters so just like this in survival what you're gonna want to do is crouch jump up place your hopper and then you could just do it like this all right so now you got those hoppers going to the composters and the hoppers going into the chest below the composters both sides just like that sticky piston should be down here and then if we count one two piston that's how it should look as soon as you place these pistons they're gonna extend so just place them all the way across for 10. All right, so now we have all those extended and we have all those extended and we raise the walls just like this. Go ahead and enclose the pistons at the top like so and then match it on the side as well. You do the same thing over here. Once you did that, what we want to do is grab our glass panes, place two and then do this all the way across. Once you have your glass panes, you should have them from this side to that side on both sides. Go ahead and connect the top just like this and then everything will start to look like an actual build now coming inside right here go ahead and place a row of blocks just like this so there's your sticky pistons place a row of blocks on top of those place sand just like this 
So we have it on that side, and we have it on this side. On top of the sand, place a row of blocks. Now what we want to do is place a redstone torch there, place a redstone torch there, grab your repeater, have that repeater going that way, and then have this repeater going this way. Place these on two ticks, one, two. Take your redstone dust, place one there. It should then circuit. Take a lever before you connect it. Place your redstone, flick it down. Redstone lever, flick it down. Redstone there, just like that. You can connect your redstone over here as well. And actually, I messed up. So just to show you over here, that's how it should look like. You should have that staggering over here. And then on the same side over here, you should have that staggering. I accidentally put this over on that side. And then that's a problem if you do that. So just make sure this is identical on both sides. If you had to go back and fix that, your sand's gonna fall. It might have fallen like down here. Go ahead and just break that sand. Redo this step right here and place that sand back. And guys, we're halfway through this tutorial. If you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. And we're trying to grow our community. We're also releasing a realm soon. So join the Discord. Thank you. And let's get back to the tutorial. All right. So now that we're over here, what we want to do on these extended pistons now go ahead and take all your sand and place them on top of them over here as well place them on top i'm going to give you a little pan around the build so that way you can see over there you can see over here and then over here as well so pause if you need to rewind if you need to you got everything you need though place a row of blocks just like this you no longer need the sand but go ahead and place a sign in there and place a sign in there place trap doors along the top just like this all the way across go ahead and take a water bucket place it underneath those trap doors like so by underneath i mean to actually waterlog those trap doors up there that way it goes to the top then your water should be flowing like this if right here your water isn't flowing then your kelp is not going to go into the hoppers. Sometimes the water right here can get stationary. Just replace your water if that happens. Go ahead and take your kelp and place it over here all the way across. That should be 10. And then once you do that, this side should look all like this. All you got to do is copy this side to that side. And then once you did everything on both sides, it'll look exactly like this. And just to show you see how the kelp is stuck right there, that is because the water is not flowing. But the easiest way to fix that is just to replace all of your water. So I can grab like a sponge, just come in here, place my sponge, collect all that kelp because we don't need it redo all of my water you could also do your water at the top by the way you could just literally do it like this you don't have to be in there then you could go back down and replace all that kelp all right guys and once you have the water flowing correctly on both sides what you want to do is stand on this block right here in the middle but and stand here Look to the right, flick the right side up, just flick it up, and then walk outside of the chunk. Wait about 10 to 20 seconds, probably 15 to play it safe. After you wait a little bit, just keep waiting, wait, wait, wait. And then after 15 or so seconds, go ahead and flick the lever down. Walk immediately back into the chunk. Go ahead and do the same thing over here. Flick it up, walk out of the chunk. Wait 15 to 20 seconds. Basically, we are syncing this with the zero tick pulse, and it's syncing to the chunk, essentially in English words. And then after 15 seconds or so, we'll flick it down, and immediately we'll walk back up then all we got to do is do this flick that up do this and flick it up okay now standing here do not move you will notice that both machines are working simultaneously and that is actually a rare thing that you see on bedrock zero tick when you want to stop afking the way you want to do it is turn both of them off abruptly so one and two and now to turn it back on we just have to do the same thing you do that again and vice versa for my testing i was able to stay afk for a total of six hours in one chunk with both of these running using that method i really don't want to see anybody commenting saying this is patch it doesn't work this is fake I really go out of my way to make sure that these work. I mean, I sat in my world today for hours making sure this works for you. So it does work. It is very reliable. You just kind of have to play around with it and then follow those steps correctly. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I spent a long time on these videos. We're almost at 14,000 subscribers, 500 more to go. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below. You know I'll reply. Join the Discord server to become a part of an everlasting menu community today. And as always, bye bye I don't listen to the haters, man, I treat them like the enemy Had a couple traitors, man, but now they know the penalty